Welcome to a tutorial of Simply Reading version 3.0.11 on Android. This video was created with support from the Government of Canada's Social Development Partnerships Program Disability Component. The opinions and interpretations in this video are those of the creator and do not necessarily reflect those of the Government of Canada. It was produced with cited assistance. Simply Reading has a clean, basic interface, making its operation clear with a very shallow learning curve. It supports books in EPUB or DAISY format. They can be copied to Simply Reading right from the NELS repository, imported from your Downloads folder, or uploaded from Dropbox. TalkBack's continuous reading feature works well, but there is no read aloud function. Here, we're looking at the record for Treasure Island on the NELS website. When we press Download EPUB, followed by Open. We're asked where to store the book. Just select Open in Simply Reading to import the new book. Now, if Simply Reading isn't in the list of choices, select Chrome to download it. Open the Simply Reading app and press the Drawer Open button at the top left of the bookshelf. Select Device Memory, then Internal Storage, then Downloads. Swipe to the title you downloaded and tap it. When the book imports, Simply Reading shows it up in your list of books. Just tap the title to begin reading. Treasure Island is now open in Simply Reading, showing up in the reading pane. To start reading, swipe with one finger down, then to the right. Alert Global Context Menu. Read from top in list 10 items. Double tap to activate. In the menu that appears, select Read from Next Item. Read from Next Item. Reader Page. Reader Page. Bookmark. More Options. 5 of 326. Copyright 2012 John Sutherland. Link. All rights reserved. The use of any part of this publication reproduced, transmitted in any form or by any... I. You can stop reading by tapping anywhere on the screen. Special gestures are available to move quickly through your book. Swipe two fingers from right to left to turn the page. Swipe two fingers diagonally from top left to bottom right to move to the next chapter. Swipe three fingers right to left to access Where Am I information. This will tell you the title and author of the book you're reading, along with the current page and chapter. The Table of Contents button is located at the bottom left of the screen. You can quickly pull it up by swiping up with two fingers. Tabs to navigate by chapter or heading are found at the top of the screen in the middle. Select a tab, swipe through the list below, and tap an item to go there in your book. Two buttons are located at the top right of the reading pane. To save your place, just press bookmark. TalkBack confirms by announcing Bookmarked. To the right of Bookmark is a button called More Options, which you can access by swiping down with two fingers. We'll go through the features in this menu now. To find a phrase in your book, press Search. Type the text you wish to find, and press Search at the right side of the keyboard. Swipe through the list of search results until you find the desired section, then tap the entry to be taken directly to that place in the book. Bookmarks and Notes will pull up a list of bookmarks you've set in this title. Swipe through the list and tap an item to be taken to that page. Go to Page presents a text box. Type the page number you wish to read and press Done. If you press Bookshelf, you're taken to the main screen of the app, where all your books are shown. Swipe through the list until you come to the desired title, then tap it. You can then select Open to read it, or swipe over to Delete if you want to remove it. Simply Reading is a good choice for both novels and reference material. Image descriptions are read, tables are easy to navigate, and internal links work well to jump to different parts of the book. It is a stable, well-rounded app that is completely accessible to all readers.